Hey, what's up guys? Hey, as promised, I'm uh, making a video of my concrete build and kind of what it took to make this tank. Uh, first off, the dimensions on this are 12 feet by 4 feet by 4 feet. Um, in the beginning, I was going to make a liner tank and kind of hit some snags with that. And I knew that the concrete tanks would be far cheaper to build and cheaper to run, ultimately. Um, the only downside to that was that I was going to have to build it in an unfinished part of my, my basement instead of in my family room where the television and everything was like I had originally uh, had viewed. So anyway, ultimately though, I decided to go with this. Um, so glad I did. So much easier to build than than any sort of plywood tank. There, there really was, there was nothing to build in this thing. Um, the window is a custom cut three quarter inch piece of acrylic that I got from uh, glass cages that I siliconed into the frame with SCS 2000. Um, this is the same, same silicone that, or sealant, excuse me, that um, SeaWorld uses on a lot of their aquariums, so I, I decided to go with that. Um, in building this tank, I, I began by um, building the, the initial outside structure with uh, cinder blocks, actually, concrete cinder blocks. So, had a, a buddy that's got a brother that's actually a a mortar guy or a masonry guy and he came in and helped me lay the brick and as soon as that set up um, I waited I don't know nearly two weeks make sure I got a good full cure then after that we took a piece of tuba ten that we ripped down to eight inches and bolted that into the concrete block itself uh, that created a frame for us to put that piece of acrylic flat up against that would be completely flush and to where we could keep the pressure evenly distributed and have a nice, clean, smooth surface to adhere the window to. That's, that's really the biggest thing with these. If you don't get a good flat surface for your window to go up against, you're going to have an uphill battle ahead of you. So, I uh, did that, and then along the top, after I actually placed the window in, uh, the window actually stops up at the top of the block, and there is no, no block above that. And so just to help further reinforce the top and just kind of strengthen it up, I've got a 4x6 uh, that spans clear across that I have bolted into the frame, and then some tubifors up underneath that as well, helping support that. So if I happen to crawl in over in front of the window to get into the tank or anything like that. It's it's gonna be well supported. So um, then also uh, with a concrete tank, you have to seal them. You can't just pour your concrete and be done with it. Fill it lot with water. It's it is actually from what I've read uh, slightly toxic to fish to fish, and so you need to apply some sort of a waterproofing agent that is non-toxic. I went with Pond Armor. Uh, it's a little spendy, but the, the pros outweigh the cons there. That's really the only con. It's easy to easy to apply. Uh, just make sure you've got enough. Um, with concrete, it's a lot, especially porous, dry concrete like mine was. It is... It takes a lot more to get a, a full 10 millimeter coat of the pond armor than what it says. I initially bought enough to do um, 240 square feet, which should have been more than enough to do my entire tank. And after I laid that down, it, it just wasn't. Um, I went ahead and test filled it at that time anyway, but it, I did, it did leak. So <clears throat> um, I also had already put in 2,500 pounds of sand at that time that I had to had the joy of getting to shovel out and vacuum up all the remnants of and anyway then order more pond pond armor and apply another coat which as soon as I did that it was flawless so um, 
that, that's my advice to, to anyone is if you're going to do pond armor at least, and I don't know how any other products stack up against it for concrete, but order at least twice as much as what you think you're going to need because you're going to need it. Because that, that concrete's actually, um, it absorbs the paint. And so if you don't, if you don't have enough and it absorbs too much and you don't get a full 10 millimeter coat, you will leak. So anyway, really simple. Just, just make sure that you shell out the money to do it and do it right the first time. That's far easier. Um, and then other than that, you know, that's it. It's, it probably took us, I don't know, five hours to do the actual concrete work lay in the brick and fill in the block and then maybe an hour and a half to put in the frame for the window to set up against and 30 minutes to put the window in and that's you know, that's it guys you know, then just painting you know you can paint it takes about an hour to get a full coat on this and it takes a couple of coats when you're doing doing concrete with the pond armor so you know, overall total actual time spent doing this tank is you know under under 12 hours really so pretty pretty simple stuff um, for filtration I've got three Eheim 2262s that I've got pumping into a do-it-yourself trickle tower uh, that feeds into a you know a wet dry type sump that's loaded with uh, pond matrix and and lava rock. We've got really, really porous lava rock out in my area that I can I can readily get anytime I want. So I use a lot of that in a lot of my setups. Works great. Really porous. Every bit as good as the matrix. Um, and then I also have a lot of pothos plants that are are in that sump as well. Um, nitrates are still non-existent. I haven't even done a first my first water change after two weeks on this tank. And I'm still not reading any nitrates, so that's that's pretty encouraging on on that that front. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a water change pretty soon, just kind of help get the last of that sediment from the sand. When I test filled this tank the last time, it takes so long to fill it, and when I was done, my water was about 74 degrees, <clears throat> so I did not want to drain that down again. I wouldn't have any hot water left. So I would have had to wait till the next day. So I stupidly added the the sands to it through the water column, which made a, a nice mess of things. Uh, you can see, and I wish I had some more lighting. Like I said, I, this is an unfinished part of my basement. I don't have any power run back here at all. I, I'm having to run extension cords. So anyway, that's that's my next project is getting power in this room, and uh, I'm gonna water, run a water line over here as well. So water changes are simple. Um, the block comes up 16 inches from the floor. That's two cores of block uh, before you actually hit the window level. So there is a little bit of a drop down to the floor of the tank. Uh, I don't mind that. The fish actually all, you know, if I sneak into the room, it looks like there's no fish in the tank at all. They're all down in the bottom. But as soon as they see me, everything floods up to the top and makes sure that they're right in the window view and, and uh, where I can see them. It makes it makes it really nice. Kind of makes it to where I can have some, I can see some true natural behavior without them even knowing I'm here, as well as being able to see anything if I just want to sit in my lazy boy and watch. So, anyway, um, I'm gonna post this on the Mint Monster Fish Keepers. Feel free to ask me any questions about any type of any part of the build. Um, I'll probably go through my costs a little bit in that thread as well, just so people know how to what kind of of cost there is to something like this i will tell you that it's way cheaper than any other option if you're going to go this big that at least any other option that i have found and researched i i'm in this thing two thousand twenty five hundred bucks grand total for everything that's including the filtration window paint everything guys really cheap really easy anybody can do it that's got any sort of construction type experience at all and even if you don't it's not going to take a whole lot to figure out what you got to do really it's doesn't get any easier than this so anyway i hope you enjoy i'm going to be making more videos so that kind of outline more of this project and fish and, and everything that are in this tank so um 
go ahead and subscribe to my my YouTube channel if you would like to get some more updates on the rest of the rest of this project. Uh, and thanks for watching, guys. Talk to you later.